4 News Now is your coronavirus headquarters. Another surge of coronavirus has turned our lives upside down. Now, new research from the University of Washington is showing a light at the end of the tunnel. Emily Bloom talked to one of the scientists whose research shows the Omicron wave could come to an end before the end of the month, Emily. Yeah, Aaron, take a look at this. Now, about a week from now, it's projected the nationwide Omicron surge is going to drop. That's the 19th of January, but here in Washington, Omicron hit a little later than other states, so we're expected to see that steep decline closer to the end of the month, say January 28th. The pattern we're seeing across the globe is that the surge will drop off just as quickly as it went up. Uh, everywhere Omicron is arriving, it's taking it about a month to peak and months to come down. These projections are based upon what we're seeing in other areas that have been hit hard. And here in Washington, we're not home free just yet. So we're going to have a hard time uh, in this coming month simply because the sheer number of infections uh, will lead to a lot of hospitalizations. However, the Omicron variant isn't as severe as earlier variants. Professor Ali Mokdad has been watching COVID trends for the Institute of Health Metrics at the University of Washington. Health experts around the world are using their models. He says 80 to 90 percent of those with Omicron are asymptomatic, especially those who are vaccinated. Hospitalizations are down 50 percent, and of those, the mortality rate is 80 to 90 percent lower. The months is ahead, we should be in a very good position with low infection rate and very low number of cases. Professor Mockdot is optimistic for a new normal. Normality will be sometimes in April where cases will be very low. So spring breaks will happen. People will travel around spring. We'll be in much better position. Could this be the next major cornerstone that we come around in the pandemic? Is that possible? In a way, it is. Omicron, because it's spreading so fast, 50% of Americans will be infected in three months. By that point, most of us will have immunity either from infection or vaccinations. A, a new no, the new normal, COVID normal, not normal pre-COVID. I mean, I personally am uh, going to get on a plane and go to Florida because I want some sun. To hear this expert with plans to get on a plane in the months ahead should give you some idea of just how optimistic they are. Now further, if you want to protect yourself even at your best shot from the Omicron, that is to upgrade your mask. Professor Mock Dodd says Omicron is such a highly contagious variant that the simple cloth masks we've been using won't protect us. Reporting in studio, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.